Keep an eye on that shot. Now he's pressing that red button. Yeah, he'll never he's forget. Eager. He's going to go, you got to press that red button for it to work. What are the biggest mistakes you can make in the filming industry? It's not recording. Not recording. Cutting someone out of frame. <laughs> <laughs> Eating constantly off camera loudly. Well, man, the only thing left for you in the film industry to do, the, the next big thing is to be like horrible sexual crimes. That's the only other mistake you can make in the film business is like coerce women. Even the wine scenes press record. <laughs> this is out of control. In my mind, you're worse than a rapist. <laughs> At least rapists don't waste my time. <laughs> is he still in jail, Weinstein? Weinstein, there's no, he's like El Chapo, dude. He went out of the fucking he bathtub. Out. Yeah. Didn't he have like a, a defective, totally defective dog? Yeah, that was one of the, they, yeah, they, brought that in front of the jury that everyone was like look at his fucking gross penis he's oh. definitely a rapist <laughs> yeah but couldn't he be like it didn't even work my dick doesn't even work dude he yeah, could have but i'm sure it didn't really work yeah out he got made day. fun of for having a weird penis yeah on top of the entire country <laughs> live by the hey. sword live by the sword die by the sword yeah dude. you live by yeah you live by the deformed penis <laughs> <laughs> you die by that God damn. It's that's good to be here, dude. It's good to be here live from an Airbnb in True. Westchester, Pennsylvania. You're back, dude. Home of the BAM. <laughs> the Rams. Home of the fucking BAM Rams. Yeah, BAM is... BAM's cool now, right? He's good? Or is he still I have no idea. At large? According to... I think he's chilling. Nice. Blizz reported a sighting. Really? Yeah. When did he, when he see... Blizz said he saw BAM in Westchester. Nice. Like two days ago. Nice. It's good to be back. <laughs> Right away, reaching for something plastic. Jesus Christ. Get a water, dude. Yeah, just open it up. It's totally fine. We'll wait. <laughs> we'll halt the production. Anyway, it's, oh, I should have used that water for the fucking neti pot. No, dude, you need distilled water. That's distilled. That's purified water. Bottled water. Maybe. I'd have to see. They say you use specifically distilled, like nothing in it. Yeah. Because you can get a brain infection. That's what I heard. You can be shamed the brain infection. Gillis, yeah, dude. I used mm. fucking Westchester tap water. No. Yeah, I had no idea. And then I got done. I told people yesterday, I was like, I used a neti pot. They're like, did you use distilled? Oh, no. Because you can die from that. If bacteria gets in your brain. I was like, that's, yeah. that's impossible. Uh, true. And then I Googled it, and uh, some guy in Florida died from it. But I think he was swimming in a swamp. Yeah. And they're like, we don't know where this bacteria came from. Probably the neti pot. I don't, you get ocean water. I've got ocean was, water way up my nose. Yeah, dude. I think I was kicking around when it broke my nose. I was like, damn, it's probably ocean water. Speaking there. of noses, dude, you're back on top. <laughs> right back. Yeah. <laughs> It'll that? be good. It's airflow, bro. Wow. That's my that's my deviated nosh. That's I hear that. I hear that whistle. That's shitty one. That's clean. That is clean as hell. I can hear that. I got to get the neti pot out. You got to get it back out. Get some pond water. Yeah. Get a whole microorganism. I'm just going to get pond water. <laughs> yeah, dude. Or fill it with worms. <laughs> yeah, they say to put like salt. You can get some salt water too. Or you can boil. If you want to boil, you can boil. Yeah. You can boil up some I didn't tap. know it would. I didn't, I didn't feel like doing it for a long time. Yeah, true. Also, with a fucking deviated septum, it doesn't really work the other way. Like, I it couldn't. It takes a minute, It dude. didn't. It was very slow dripping out the good yeah, nostril. Yeah, true. And that one was fucking. It, it, it halts, and all of a sudden, it's like. Yeah. Oh. I think that's one of my favorite feelings in the world. Having this liquid pour, like boogers it and does liquid feel pour good. out of my nose. Oh, my God. You, gotta get, you ever try one of those earwax ones? No. I'd like to. I haven't either. <laughs> to pull the earwax out of your nose? Yeah. Did you just point at Sean and say it was him? You guys got to work on your bond, man. It's, yeah. it's so cutthroat right there. <laughs> well, Lemizi still here. <laughs> Unbelievable that this know, guy's still I here. I know. I got an important mission for him coming up this week. You do give him missions, which I do appreciate. I'm sure he appreciates. The missions, I mean, he's... He does missions. He's the best. 
What type of missions do you have for him planned? Or does he not need to know? Oh, I know you got to clear out that beach house. Oh, well, no. <laughs> that could be a little easy. <laughs> that could be a bash. He would just turn that into a party at your house. True. He had a little party going. You had a party going? Two brother, him and his brother party. Yeah. Ice what? cream in the fridge. I threw all your junk out. You guys got ice cream in he his had house? Sherbet, he had orange cream, sherbet, ice cream in the fridge. <laughs> or like orange and cream popsicle what the fuck? ice cream. Wait, they went to the beach house or your house? My house. What did you guys do in his house? We're just playing. We're just watching TV. We're just watching anime. We usually hang out on Sundays and watch anime. It was pretty. Whole, it was pretty wholesome. I had to throw his junk away. Just ice cream and anime. <laughs> yeah, that dude. That fucking. I can't argue against how nice that orange, is. Orange, yeah, orange cream sickle ice cream, dude. He laid a trap for my wife. I had to go. No, don't eat that crap. <laughs> yeah. Don't eat that crap. <laughs> she was, dude. She kept opening that and being like, oh. "That's how it goes." Yeah. If you have ice cream in the fridge, which only women do. Yeah. They're going to go at the, the 8 o'clock. They look after dinner and they go, I'm not. I, I shouldn't. Creamsicle ice Start cream Start watching too? Netflix. 10 p.m. rolls around. They go, I'm going to have. You go, what are you doing out there? Why are you scooping that in the dark? Oh, dude, yeah. I, I, I immediately threw it. I love throwing away sweets in her face. Like, here, this is what is junk. Just throw it in the trash. <laughs> don't do that now. It's a waste. That's aggressive. Dude. Throw it in the trash. <laughs> I'm like, you're not going to want. You don't want to eat this. Yeah. Just taste it and spit it out. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. Why do you have to swallow ice women cream? Should be, every woman should be bulimic. That's not even bulimic. That's just being that's just being no, smart. I mean swallow it. Enjoy it. But but that's just, the weirdest part of that is spit like up. why do you need to like completely incorporate that into your physical existence? Taste it and just go, that's all right, and spit it out. You can go throw a whole gallon of ice cream. You can munch it down to liquid and just go get a spittoon. Like, I like what that. is it about swallowing and incorporating the food that makes it so pleasurable? That's a weird part you don't think. I mean, it is usually your animal instincts. Yeah. The best part is just like. It does feel good when just. it hits your fucking throat. Just, <laughs> mm. <laughs> Although they say, I read a thing recently. They said 55% of your calories are spent just pushing the food down from here to your hiney. You're in your body, you mean yeah. what you burn off? Yeah, just by oh. just like moving that food around. They claim that half the calories of, that you eat are getting spent just pushing it down mm. to your body. They don't know what I'm eating your butthole <laughs> true yeah it might never make it down there yeah true just that. stays somewhere true your belly your cells no not if i've been taking that that, that yeah I, I still can't remember what it's called syllabin asylum husk asylum husk dude. so is that corn is that just grounded up corn, corn i have cobs? no idea it just blows your ass out it feels great fuck that's so tight taking massive shits oh that's all i want thanks to asylum si husk asylum i'm regular Dude, I'm telling you what, I was on those, I mean, I wasn't even on real opiates. I was on fucking Tramadol. Yeah. Dude, four days of that. Do you go no dump? I heard, doesn't, I didn't doesn't shit that sometimes? for four days. Oh, okay. I, didn't shit. I mean, again, I wasn't eating much because I couldn't really eat because yeah. like, every time I like took a bite or swallowed something, my oh. ears would pop and then a little bit of mucus would just like forcefully burst out of my nose, Damn. out of like the tube. It was Truly hellish. Let me see. The, the swelling's already down a little from yeah. yesterday. No, it's down big time. Yeah. But dude, they gave me tramadol. Didn't shit for four days. Then I was like, I was like, all right, I'm done. I'm not yeah, taking you don't it. shit. You right? don't shit at all, dude. Yeah. And then I thought it was gonna be like, all right, here. Like I was thinking of the scene from Train Spotting where he stops doing heroin and just like blows it out. <laughs> dude, I pushed like a tree branch out of my ass on the fifth day. I was just like, <laughs> ah. <laughs> McKeever has one of those. Oh, really? Yeah, McKeever was on pain oh. pills from something, and he had to go to the hospital. For he was his like, my stomach turd? is fucked up. Something's wrong. No. And they did like a fucking sonogram oh. on, a, on a football in his butt. <laughs> <laughs> he, had to, he had to dump out in front of like a hot nurse. He had to go to the bathroom. He said it looked like a like a bundle of oranges. Oh it no. Was just like, oh. He just dropped cannonballs in front of Dropping this lady. the football is tough. Dude. <laughs> he fumble roost. Dude, I've I've had the pig skin a couple times, dude. It's <laughs> you get the football shaped dump, it, it rips your butt. You, you spot dude, it's so you bleed good, dude it's worth it's it it's so good it's dude. well worth the pain dude the pleasure far outweighs the pain it sucks our modern technology i love like women give birth i love to drop a football in a field just so i could <laughs> squat and go back out to collecting nuts dude <laughs> oh if dude. you knew you had a football dropping it outside would be so fucking funny dude <laughs> just putting it on a sidewalk so people would be like, oh my, what the <laughs> fuck was that? <laughs> Who did this? <laughs> Have you tasted a football recently? <laughs> like a football, like a football turd, like a fully. Uh, I'm trying to think. I mean. The first one I saw one was in high school. 
a guy yeah. dropped a football on our janitor yeah. had to come and break <laughs> it up with a fucking stick. It was the funniest thing in the world. School janitor is the fucking gig, dude. Oh, it was the best. That's a gig. Dude, it's the, our, our dude would smoke weed. Wood chips on puke. Oh. Just elementary school kids just puking and shitting and pissing oh. all day. Yeah, it's and you're just some drunk. Yeah, that's like fuck. Like, ew, it's just yeah, disgusting. The wood chips out. These kids are throwing up. Oh, but yeah, yeah, they're like security guards for construction. They just like look at a uh, toilet and like we're gonna call a contractor. <laughs> just call it. It's like you call the police. You're like, yeah, we need. We definitely need we need the guy to come in. But yeah, they do. They clean up like puke and turds, and then like yeah, mop up all day. It's a sick fucking gig. Mop mopping is the finest gig. Mopping so when the kids fun. finally leave, all the fucking oh. All those little punks get out of there. A couple of them call you losers. The bad kids are like, nice job, <laughs> you fucking janitor. <laughs> Although that would, that's the vicious circle. Those were the, those, yeah, the janitors true. become, you know, the bad kids become the janitor. Yeah. And then the janitor has kids and he's an alcoholic and he just has bad kids. Yep. That is the, vicious the same cycle. family. I bet you, like, yeah. you know how you can, like, cite every president goes all the way back to the same, like, king? Yep. I bet every janitor's kids. Come from one janitor. Yeah. What do you think of that? It's like the House of Atreus, dude. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to shoehorn that in there. <laughs> I'm, I'm all right with it. They were talking about generational curses, and it was exactly like that. It was like your great great grandfather would like chop up someone's kids and feed them to his brother. And like that brother would like, for revenge, fuck his sister to make a kid to avenge his. It was yeah. fucking insane. Yeah. They'd go like seven generations deep of like Greek royalty. And it was like, by the end of it, it's like, he's, this guy's definitely going to chop one of his kids up. Yeah, like he has to. we got to watch this guy. It's so fucking funny. He's going to chop up some kids. Dude, chopping someone's kids up, feeding it to them, and being like, how are they? Yeah. How are those little beasts? How was the meat pie you just had? And then you go, you walk away. The secret away. ingredient was your children. Your firstborn. <laughs> then he goes, all right, I see you. And he's like, all right, I'm going to... Yeah. No, he fucked his daughter. He got one of his daughters, That's impregnated his daughter. All right, impregnating it, yeah. But then he got to raise a baby, which, you know, he, just, he had to fuck his daughter. He was in exile, you know. Sniz was fucking, was hard to, exactly hard to come by. Hard to come by. Yeah. And then he got a baby, and from day one was like, you're going to kill my brother. You're going to kill my brother. Hired, Sick. Making an assassin, you know, making you know, like, making good out of a bad situation. It would be cool to craft an assassin from, child, from like, yeah. infancy. So your one job is to fucking kill your uncle. Damn, he had to munch his kids. Yeah, he munched him. Oh, that was in, uh, that was true. What? They did that. Uh, I think that, yeah, I think that. That was in uh, Carlin's fucking, like, King of Kings thing. Uh, he went through, like, all the fucked up things, all those ancient kings used to do. It's pretty terrible. Yeah. I think they used to do that. They'd be like, all right, now uh, munch your kids, and then we're going to torture you to death. Uh, <laughs> they would, like, kill your kids and, like, rape your wife in front of you and then take your eyes out. Yeah. So that was the last thing you ever saw. <laughs> And then let you live. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty brutal, dude. Fucking jerks. It's, I mean, it's unbelievable. That's that's why whenever whenever people are like, eh, it's always going to be, it's like, dude, no, we've made some we've significant made incredible progress. progress. Yeah. Significant progress. Yeah, especially think of those kings. They had to have like senile shitty king. They had like a King Biden. Oh, yeah. I was like, bring him on. I'm going to fuck his kids. Dude, guys would go nuts. Take like, his eyes out. Come on. Dude, if your king out. went nuts, it's like you were just fucked. Yeah. The whole just, kingdom was like, fuck. He's one, one dude to go nuts and be like, yeah, dude, my word's the word of God. And everyone would be like, fuck. Yeah, we all agreed. Fuck. Everything you no, say someone, is true. Someone would be thinking straight and just be like, <laughs> yeah. stab him right in the back. But yeah, they got in this whole family and it was just like generations of just like uncles killing their nephews, killing their parents. And the kid would come back and kill their... It was... So fucking tight. That is tight. So much drama. That's fun to listen to. It is fun. That right is before, drama. Right before I go to bed, I go, oh my God. It's yeah. So cool. It's ancient Jerry Springer. True. True dad. Like, we have a guest. We have a surprise guest for you. <laughs> it's that boy that was raised to assassinate <laughs> you. Well, you he, son of a bitch. He seduced Agamemnon's wife. Agamemnon. 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 <laughs> Agamemnon. Agamemnon. He seduced Agamemnon's wife. And then Agamem mom came back, and then he was like, Yo, dude, He said, was... Agamem Nall, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to like that. <laughs> yeah, poor Agamem Nall. Agam Agamemnon. He was just avenging Helen, dude. The guy yeah, came yeah, through yeah, and fucking yeah. seduced Helen. That Paris. was Troy. Paris, man. Yeah. yeah. How about how crazy is that? The Trojan, Sack of wine. The Trojan War was just over a lady. They're like, We can't have yeah. that. Fought, uh, th Paris thousands is fine died. ass, dude. 
pa- yeah, Paris. Is Paris sexy, went in there and dude. scooped her up. What could he do? I don't know, Hector. He was promising. I have, <laughs> I have the fucking. Uh, I can tell you about that world. Hector dude. was their champion. I have. Uh, there's a fucking uh, total war about Troy. <laughs> I can tell you all about it. I can tell you about Silver Tongue Odysseus. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. Hector was their champion, right? You'd like it. You can play three modes. Dude. Oh. You can play regular human mode where it's no myths. You can play fucking. Why would like, anyone? You can play like why they thought it was a myth, like Cyclops was just a jack dude, or you can play full myth mode. Achilles, and you can have. I mean, Achilles is of course in it, but you can have. Oh. You can you can hire sirens to be on your team. What? Yeah, they can come sing and trick the other guys. You'd like this game? I dude. would fucking love that. Yeah, it sounds awesome. I bought a new gaming laptop just for this. Did you really? Yeah, I'm gonna get into it when I get home. I forgot about. Mm. It. Where's it at? It. It's in my fucking apartment in New York, dude. Dispatch, dispatch the bro. I might dispatch. You want a new mission? Give a mission possible, dude. 40 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Although no gaming on the game and laptop. Do not open the box. <laughs> <laughs> that game, he's going to leave with the, yeah, he's going to loot me. <laughs> he's going to fucking loot me and I'll never see him again. <laughs> he's going to secure his booty. True. I think I'll be gla- you'll find village. it. You'll find the, pol- the state police will find those being a bag just completely glazed. Yeah, <laughs> completely glazed. Yeah. Once uh, once you've finished your gaming, now it's time for the, for the real game, jizzing in the woods on a laptop. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ, dude! I came across a disturbing online uh, online file or online finding where. So he, obviously I've been following RFK stuff and you know, he came out like with all the Israel stuff. Yeah. He loves Israel. Yeah. He loves Israel, dude. And it's like, you know, it's like, I don't know anything about it. I'm watching it like, Oh dude, that's pretty cool. This guy's all about this. And then I'm like looking at his like counts on all of his videos, dude. He's like, I'm here with the big three league, like 27,000 likes. I'm here with the 27,000 likes him defending Israel. has like 1600 likes. Oh, he doesn't. Get, he didn't get likes. <laughs> he got no love for that oh, dude. Oh damn! And I was like, damn, dude, the internet's so fucking I racist. I get like six million. Well, I started. <laughs> well, I started watching it, being like, God damn, dude, that's yeah. like that's wild to get the like the numbers on like who was like, yo, fuck yeah, dude. People yeah, talking like, with Ice Cube for the Big Three basketball. True. People do not like Israel, dude. Again, it's a hot button issue. It's just like I'm just. So I noticed the phenomenon. I went, whoa, that's fucking. It's crazy getting the numbers yeah. on it. I got the numbies. That's not even the point. That was like, I saw that and that led me to thinking about like, like CIA stuff. And I don't know how I got to just like wondering if Ireland has secret service or not secret service, like a CIA. Yeah, probably. Dude, they must be the worst. They can't think of a secret, dude. They spill the beans. <laughs> they they the drink whiskey and spill the beans every night. I kept laughing thinking about uh, it, We're dude. having a secret mission this week. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Volker, Just, you've done any, it again. Any, they spill the beans down at the bowl. Any, any country finds them, puts like puts them in a room with just two beers. Like, ah, I can't take it. Yeah. Drink two. And look, I'll tell you what you want to know. I'll tell you something. It's your truth serum. They I've give them two beers. Yeah. like, oh, it was us. We were going to kill the Queen of England. <laughs> we were going to get her and she died. And we would say we will kill the black one and uh, get a black lady. Yeah. <laughs> I kept laughing all day. I was doing it to Brittany all day. Irish what? CIA. <laughs> we killed a black lady. Just getting hammered. I fucking killed a queen. James Bond going to the casino. <laughs> Doesn't leave the bar. <laughs> Gets ruined at the crabs table. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> we're fucking ruined. <laughs> they gotta keep... Stop sending me to missions and casinos. He just, he just gets like a robot lady pregnant. He's like, fuck, we got to get married. Hey, mom. Boom. <laughs> yeah, it was making me laugh about them yeah, just being the worst funny. CIA in history. That gave me a giggle and I went, oh, God, what are we going to do about Israel? Polish Secret Service would be funny. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> just get lost on the way to every mission. <laughs> 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 Especially if you have those cool like CSI or it's like the little like script on the thing like 323 yeah. Egypt. And he's like, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, he sees it somehow. Oh, man. I'm, I'm not supposed to. Fucking Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. I'm supposed to be in Poland. <laughs> well, they're trying to I wasn't do- even supposed to leave. <laughs> dude, they're trying to like secret code. They're like, I'm on your team, brother. And he's like, You're with the Polish CIA? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, yes. Yeah, it's like lovely weather we're having today. <laughs> Are you CIA? I'm CIA. <laughs> we can skip all this. I think you seem like a fucking trustworthy guy. 
<laughs> yeah, not many countries I feel like can do it. I mean, yeah. Africa CIA will be nice, dude. I wasn't gonna go. It'd be so flash. Go dude. Dude. It'd be so flash. Just one guy gets a phone. <laughs> 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 He's a fucking superhero. Yeah. Oh my god. That's He'd fun. be too fly. <laughs> yeah, of course, so fly, dude. Dude. yeah, one guy just gets American clothes. It's <laughs> just the man. <laughs> like, why is this guy in a tuxedo? <laughs> Yeah, that's my favorite part about those. Not my, you know, nothing's yeah. great about it, but those those fucking warlords that are just like, mm -hmm. yeah, we're wearing wedding dresses and tuxedos. The whole gang, <laughs> we're wearing whatever cool wild outfits we. They they just go full village people. Yeah, true. They're like, yeah, I'm gonna wear this. They're like, sick. <laughs> I'm that, gonna be a construction guy. That would feel good winning one of those wars, though. Yeah. Child war. Yeah, you just do insane amphetamines yeah eat the other guy's hearts everybody's having fun <sighs> your uncle is so proud of you everyone's proud that'd be so fucking tight tough to lose one of those yeah you lose it all <laughs> you, lose everything. you lose it all <laughs> yeah i mean it's total war yeah yeah winning vanquishing your enemies you know objectively speaking has got to be a fantastic feeling yeah it's gotta be so sick especially when resources are scarce yeah that's when it counts the most like this this russia ukraine stuff is like doesn't even count. Yeah, it's bullshit. Yeah, it's like I, I was like talking to a guy from Russia the other day, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Like, yeah, I forgot these countries are at war. You just like forget. It They're just feels going. so weird. It feels yeah. so weird and embarrassing. It's just like yeah, I fucking forgot. He was having a good time. This guy from Russia is having a good time. You can't even be like you guys are. It was like we're also invading countries constantly. So it's just kind of like, I see you out there, player. Yeah. I see what you're up to. Playing. You guys are on your grind. <laughs> you're on your grizzly. We, 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 wanted, we wanted everyone to respect our grizzly. We were like, dude, we're going to an Iraq. You guys are going to love this shit. And everybody turned on us. Now Russia's doing it and they need our help. They need us to be like. True. That actually is. We gotta, like, what time are you guys getting up? Like, We're going up 430. Be like, got to respect that. Yeah, I respect That's that. Getting, getting after it. We've got a spring offensive plan. Awesome. You got goals. I can appreciate that. Yeah, they're on their grind. Yeah, they absolutely are. I hope it comes to a swift end. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it comes to a swift end. Yeah. But yeah, guy reminded me. Huh? Peacefully. Peacefully, dude. Yeah. Just everyone drops and goes, what the hell are we What are we doing? even doing, guys? Let's We're go right home. Next to we should be neighbors, dude. This is crazy. Yeah, what do they like? They need something cool to happen. They can all stop, I mean, boxing. They, huh? Metal music. Yeah. Or we could... Do a false flag and fake them into thinking China bombed them, and they can just turn them both against China. That'd be yeah. cool. Yeah. China would go nuts on them, though. China would wild out. China's ready to wild out, dude. Yeah, but dude, China versus Russia, that's the fight everyone wants to see. They need to stop. Russia needs to stop fucking China around. would go nuts you on them. You think they'd buttfuck Russia? Yeah. Yeah, but dude, the U.S. would step in and help them, dude. And the U.S. We would save would Russia. Them. We'd be like, dude, we forgive you guys. We've also fucked up like that a bunch of times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not that long ago. We get it. You saw a really poor, indefensible country, dude. We get it. We know it's how fucking so tantalizing easy, it is. It's so easy, dude. It's just right there. <laughs> it's fucking right there. I know. They got all the stuff you want. They, they have these fucking the natural stuff, resources. Dude. And it's like, if you just kill like, what, 200,000 people, you get to have them. It is funny, yeah. They're just sitting there at the border. Yeah. Like when you get food out in front of your dog, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> Don't. <laughs> this is a string of drools. Leave like, it. Dude, you can't have this. Leave it. You leave the room. They smell natural gas. Right smell under the table. Yeah. <laughs> it's natural gas. <laughs> leave it. Drop it. Drop Ukraine. <laughs> Drop it. You gotta, you gotta get it out of its mouth. I do. Yeah, I like the. I like the. If now, if we're talking Red Army, yeah. if we're talking throwback Soviet Union. Mm, yeah, they'd put a hurting on China. Yeah, true. But it would be the worst war of all time. Oh, it'd be so bad. It'd be the worst war of all time. Both of them would throw bodies at each other. I'm trying to figure out how we as a country can make money off of such a large scale destruction. We would make so much money We'd off that. Fucking get paid, dude. We would, yeah. I mean, again, I hope it doesn't come to that. It'd be like World War II. We'd be like, well, we're number one now, so <laughs> you guys are gonna listen to us for a century. 
our dollar is the currency now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, I got a lot of people talking how China's now like straight. I'm like, I don't, I just don't see it. Dude. It's not happening, bro. Yeah. I don't see it. I think it's just fucking fear. I don't know man. shit about anything, but. Yeah, I'm just operating off of faith in America. I'm going, bro, we're the best. Dude. We, we're no, yeah. we can do anything. Come on. Yeah, dude. There's no way. Like, you know, they're not using our dollar. It's like. Who gives a fuck? Let them go broke, dude. Yeah. More exactly. dollars for us. True. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That, and like, Anybody oh, yeah, even think about that? National debt. Turns out we only have dollars for that, dude. Yeah. Sorry you guys don't want them. Yeah. Ours now. We're that's not paying. There's no way we're paying them. Back. We're never paying them back. That's crazy. I also, I don't even think that's how it can't work that way. What? That we owe them like 17 trillion Yeah, but I, 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 I don't understand. There's no way they just were like, on good faith, you guys promise? <laughs> I know. <laughs> There's no way they're that bad. I can't figure it out. I don't know we're what that means. We're going to give you 30 trillion? Don't fuck us on yeah, this deal. Yeah, true. Yeah, don't, we want to position ourselves so us going under would be the best thing possible for you guys. Yeah. It doesn't make any money at all. Or it doesn't make any sense. I think it's a thing they just like hover over. It doesn't the make dollars or cents, man. True that. I think they just hovered over their population's head. They're like, we're in fucking debt, dude. Yeah. You want, of course you want more money. We do too. We're in fucking yeah. debt. Things aren't going well. We're going to print more. We'll give you more money when we get out of debt. <laughs> yeah, dude. You're getting paid the same thing. College for is free. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. We got your votes. <laughs> Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna hold that one over for a while. They're gonna have to figure out something, it, dude. It's fucking. They it's, won't, dude. Do you see these guys? True. See McConnell getting fucking. What happened? What happened to that bro? Why was he up, stuck? He Why was he stuck? He got stuck, dude. He's lucky his stepson wasn't there. <laughs> he would have fucking got him out. <laughs> but did they ever say what happened to that guy while he froze? I think they. Was it the heebie-jeebies? I heard it was stroke, but uh, yeah, he did have a bad case. He stroked up. Or the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> <laughs> Senator McConnell has come down with a horrific case of the heebie-jeebies. Please pray for him. Certain doctors are trying to say it might have been the willies as well. <laughs> <laughs> We've combed the area for cooties. <laughs> cooties have been rolled out. <laughs> I do like that. It's funny whenever that happens. Just seeing Twitter and seeing all the people like, good, fucking yeah. die, I hope bitch. He dies. Like, wait. Yeah, I mean, I get not like him, you know. For sure, but, but don't but, whack off and yeah. What was his thing? He was like, he was. I'm guessing it was hard on abortion. He's he's like the head of the Republicans. Okay, he's it. He's, he's the, the guy. He's yeah. like done everything. He's gotten all the judges. He's like, he's I a mean, true mastermind. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That, that's Until just, now, now his mind's yeah not a master. He's, he's gone. Yeah, he's like a what you call it, like a cicada. He's like a cicada shell, just hanging on a tree, <laughs> just fucking. <laughs> I saw a thing he was getting chanted at. He was trying to give a speech, and everyone was like, "Retire, retire, yeah, retire. dude." Call it in Kentucky, in his hometown, in his home state of Kentucky, like in a cheerful way, like you did it, or just like fucking. No, get like out of here you, dude, you got to go. Yeah, it's time. Yeah, they got to figure out something with these geezies, dude. It's got to be once you're 80. We dude. all need to make, we need to swap geezies. We go, you guys get rid of Joe. We'll drop Mitch. That's a good point. Pelosi and her rocking tits. It's time to go. I'm sure there's a bunch of geezies we could trade in. Yeah, that's a good idea. Actually. We should just go look. No Trump. Get rid of the geezies. True. Let's make a deal right now. Everybody in the country, we all agree. Biden's d don't run him for fucking reelection. I can't. Somebody will shoot. <laughs> Somebody will, I don't know. No, they have to put him in the guillotine. Yeah. They have to take all the old, if you may, if you don't like relinquish Senate power and you're like yeah. 85, they should be sneakily just toss you into the guillotine. I might Napoleon out, dude. Maybe I could. I've been you playing should. Total War. Rise to power. I could. I could say, do you guys want me to handle this? I can shut down the mob right now. You do. Open be, up some grape shot on them. To be fair, you could make probably a decent foray into the American political system. Yeah, you could you could probably become a congressman like now, if you fully turned on the Jets and you started going like we need to cut these old motherfuckers' heads. I would, off. I would lose in a debate to Fetterman, dude. I would, Fetterman would wipe the floor with it. It'd be, it'd be two Fettermans going back and forth. It'd be like Pennsylvania, good night. Then it'd be my turn. I'd be like Philadelphia. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Stage, dude, I get stage fright. Not if dude, it's not stand up, I get I can't talk. I had to read at my brother's wedding for maybe fifty people, and I was Impossible. I thought I was gonna pass out, dude. Yeah, I was dying. Yeah, I was like, yeah, no, dude. I was like, let a pro do this, and I went up there and I was like, 
a gospel according to John. It was in my head was like gospel according to John. Yeah. <sighs> they were like, hand the mic to Shane at my sister's wedding. Oh. I was like, yeah, my sister's so fucking good. I'm a fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> the Egyptians were all going. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Everyone was like, well, "What the fuck?" My other, I was like, "Me and my my other sisters were both losers, and she's the only good one." My other sister was like, "What the fuck? Why are you saying this?" <laughs> she like just got done being addicted to drugs. I was like, "Me and her are losers." <laughs> I was just, no one knew I was just fighting back tears, <laughs> so it just sounded insane. <laughs> Oh. I had it all planned out, and then I got up there and almost cried, so I just sped through it yeah. and just fucked it up. Oh. Yours, if I would have given a heartfelt at yours, I would have cried. Yeah, I almost that... cried on the phone the other day. Really? Yeah. When? And I was like, congrats, dude. Oh, thank you, and man. He was like, I love you. And I was like, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you noticed how quickly that phone call ended. No. I was like, yeah, dude, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. so sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I, was... Proud of you. I was proud of you, dude. Those numbers. Thank you. You're a, you you're got a... it going. You were a light in a dark tunnel. I didn't know what to do. That was yeah. nice. It's like, what I do? Just put How it out. How far we've come. It's pretty crazy. Remember that coffee shop? That true. meeting? Yeah. That was a <laughs> serious meeting. Yeah, true. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to fucking go there, dude. We're going to do it. I swear to God. I know, I know. Like, I'm going to school, dude. This, this sucks. I, like, I swear to God. I will I find believe, you. <laughs> like, I believe you do well. Yeah, yeah. You're like, you're going to do I'm good, going dude. to school. <laughs> yeah. I hate this. Yeah. It but sucked. Yeah. It sucked. Yeah. You were... The yeah. the truth is you were right. Something crazy happened. Yeah. The odds were you were totally correct. Well, it wasn't it wasn't even just that. That wasn't what bothered me. It was just like I I got so disillusioned where I was like Yeah. No, that's I what go, I mean. That's Yeah, we'll go talk to like headline when I'd be like featuring, I'd talk to headliners. I'm like, man, this fucking sucks. That that's these guys kind of bum me out. That was the that that's the best case for almost everyone. Yes. Is you're a fucking Old headliner that's like, don't get into stand up. Yeah, my fucking bitch wife. Fuck this crowd, it, dude. It was fuck everything. You're a or or you, or you go the opposite route. What I was peeping a lot was like leather bracelet, forty five and fifty year olds. It was like gelled hair, leather bracelet guy, and I was just like, oh, I was staring down yeah. the barrel of that, and I was going, oh god, dude. There's a part of me that envies the leather bracelet, forty five year old fucking gel. Like tonight, we're gonna rock it. <laughs> yeah, this dude. is fucking sick. <laughs> It was giving me the heebie-jeebies. I was on my air mattress in the high yeah, seas. Yeah, you were just... <laughs> Every night, I'd be on my air mattress just fucking deep <laughs> sea. Were... Like, oh, <laughs> fuck. Oh. Yeah. The yeah. heebie-jeebies are tough. The heebie-jeebies will get you. They are the governing force of life, though. Of the heebie-jeebies can set in on anyone, dude, and completely petrify you. If you don't have the heebie-jeebies, that's, that's where you run into some trouble. Yeah, that's when you can really fall off a cliff. You go, I am the fucking man. Yeah, true. Well, yeah. You can truly fall off a cliff. But that was fun. That was a that was a fun uh Yeah, the special was doing great, man. It was a fun treat to release that and go, yes. Yeah. Well the thing was I was like because I, I didn't want to go around all summer and like You don't have Yeah, I didn't want to do one. I was like, I'm gonna go to the beach. I don't wanna like fucking run around all summer and do podcasts. So I was like, I'll release it, see where I'm at. And then I was like, oh sweet, I don't have to do any. You don't so, have to do any podcasts. This is fucking sweet. Yeah. I, I like I would love to go do podcasts, but I don't want to be like on a time crunch. And the whole thing was like the number doesn't affect that. It's just my, it would just be my ego. Yeah. Of just being like, I want it to be at this amount. It's not. But like to when it got there, I realized I'm like, it doesn't matter. Now. Now. Oh yeah. Now <laughs> yeah, if it was sitting at 40 K, you'd be like, yeah, the heebie jeebies would come in. Yeah, dude. It, uh, dude. Oh yeah. You get, especially you get the cousin brigade can swoop right in and be like, Hey man, these things take time. Holy you go, fuck dude. Hold on a second. Underwater. Oh, <laughs> fuck. I didn't even think about So the there cousins. was pressure on it. No, there was pressure, but yeah. I had just completely white pill myself being like, bro, it's all in your head. And then yeah, thank God it like yeah. the numbers started adding up and I was like, Oh, wow. Good. Oh, well, I, w I wasn't even going to care. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> it wasn't even a big deal to me. <laughs> no, I hear you. That's, I mean, that makes sense. Once something's going good, you're like, I never even cared about that. <laughs> yeah, it is. You don't remember those... how badly you wanted it to go well. Oh, yeah. It's one yeah. of those. It is one of those things. Like, good. Luckily for me, I am pretty good at like tricking myself. It's been my greatest skill in life. Being like, I don't care. <laughs> whatever <laughs> yeah I can, that's hold, good. I can hold that it's like it's just like 
thousands of pounds of water above your head and eventually it just fucking breaks yeah. through and you're like what the fuck am i doing here? <laughs> that's good for you i go around and i tell, care i say to everyone i go i don't care yeah i don't care and then i lay in bed i'm like you care so much <laughs> <laughs> i fucking care so goddamn much i wasn't even care you have to care i realize you yeah. have to care not caring after a certain point it starts to freak people out they go what are you, what are you doing yeah like whatever, and they're like, "Nah, it's kind of fucked up, dude." You're eventually, <laughs> yeah. just gonna die and be like, "Whatever." Yeah. Well, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Although, there's a philosophy behind it. that. Is yeah. a nice that yeah. is a fucking death never conquered you, dude. True. You're just like, who gives a fuck, dude? Fuck you, dude. <laughs> None of it's real anyway. True. That's actually a fair point. Yeah, but I feel like you 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 can't. You gotta at least like do something kind of cool, and then go. I don't fucking care. Yeah. Or not. Or do nothing cool ever. I don't fucking care. You could also do nothing cool ever. Kind of tight. It's like that one book I read. They talked about a guy who like his whole, his biggest claim to fame in life is that like if, if life was a pool, he emerged from it and jumped back in without making a ripple. And I was like, fucking that kind of rules. Is that guy Asian? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a very Asian yeah, statement. Sure. <laughs> well, it's funny. He did it. He did go on a, a search for the wisdom of the East. That was a part. That was the whole thing of the book. They were French aristocrats, and this guy came back from World War One. Was like, "Oh yeah, I don't agree with any of this stuff." And went to India and came back, and he's like, "Yeah, I just like to chill." And they're like, "What the fuck's wrong with you?" He's yeah. like, "No, guys, you can chill." Yeah, I they're mean, like, you get out of World War One, you're allowed to fucking, you're yeah. allowed to jump back in the pool. Yeah, dude, <laughs> you know, he's dude like, what the fuck was that? He was like, "I'll be here if you guys need me, but I'm not yeah. doing anything." It's a good oh, book. It's called The Razor's guys. Edge. Coming home from World War One, just like holy fuck, and then you got to deal with like the Roaring Twenties. Yeah, he was. He was. He came you know, back. He was like twenty. Like, <laughs> dude, we're I'll, starting a business with yeah. my uncle it's gonna be gangbusters it's gonna be gangbusters hey come on old sport oh, just like just, oh. i watched the whole village die from poison gas i watched all my friends strangle yeah strangle on their own blood yeah it's pretty fucking choke brutal. on it from mustard gas <laughs> so i was like ah we're getting a beer dude to be fair it Got is some lucky strikes <laughs> it is the thing that chap. polices the entire global market it's yeah. like free shit. It's like, yeah, well, plus like dudes absolutely shooting mach- like villages with machine guns. And then you get to be like free trade. Yeah. Let's go. Handshake deals. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty fun. That's, I bug out on that. That's what the one thing I bug out all the time. I go, dude, is there no way around that? Not in our lifetime. Nah, probably not. Just being like, we got to fuck. No, this thing was all built on that. That exact thing. Yeah. True. All of humanity. True, it is. It's nothing's. It is the, it's the same. It's the ultimate, dude. Shooting a village. <laughs> I'm saying, it's like the old. It's the final say. You can have lawyers, court, money, all this oh, stuff. Yeah. And then a the guy's like, "That stuff's not working for us." I got a thousand guys with guns. We declare war. Yeah. War. The court route's not working. You guys aren't listening. It's yeah. kind of like mass level school shooting. It absolutely is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's school bombings. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah true that. We've hit some people with just some a school bombing. Yeah. Took man. out a school. Yeah, that's crappy. I could be wrong, but I think Columbine happened on the day we hit a school in Bosnia. Really? Yeah, our own government. I think Clinton hit a fucking... I could be wrong on that. What the hell was he doing bombing Bosnia for? April 20th, 1997. Oh. What's that put the Clinton body count at? <sighs> I mean, you hit a school. <laughs> that's terrible. Yeah. Damn, I didn't know that. That's, that's a really I, freaky fact. I could be wrong on that. Gardini Lemaire. It was definitely April 20th. I think it was 97 Yeah, or 96. school bombing. Bombing in Bosnia, day of Columbine. That's a, that's a Google search yeah. I would do. Get rid of the day of Columbine. See when they hit a school. Yeah, true. That's a good point. Whatever. Look. Whatever it stands. Fact checkers find it. Yeah, true. That's fucking terrible. Yeah. That is, I mean, if you're thinking in terms of optics and like political strategy for Bill, (sighs) yo, that's like, (laughs) what are the odds? Oh my God. Being like, what happened? And being like, that's perfect. Jackpot. But it must be pretty easy, though, to block the story from Bosnia. Just be like, this is a fucking communist, dude. You're lying. Communist, dude. We didn't fucking bomb (laughs) him. communists i think we were in there saving muslims were we really i mean here we go well i saw there was a muslim massacre in bosnia 
the day yeah, of Columbine? Yeah, that's in 1995, but there was a war in 95. Yeah. And, yeah. Damn. I guess I'm wrong, but. Was it Slick Willie? It, it was certainly Slick Willie. was Slick Willie. He dropped some bombs. He got some head, and he said, <laughs> we need to go to war. It's true. Nobody said, look. Yeah, true. Nobody look at me. I stuck a stogie in a fucking chick's pussy. That had to hurt, by the way. Stogie? Yeah, dude. Those things hurt my mouth. Not to sound like a huge fucking pussy, but that'd yeah, be spicy. It, yeah. Although, oh, I guess. Oh, yeah. You, it is a little spicy. Yeah. Although, if I were a little sweet little intern, I wouldn't mind spicing myself up. Spice from the prez? Especially if I was a political intern that's like, feels, you know. Yeah. Like whiskey and cigars. That must be like the biggest aphrodisiac mm. for you. You're like a. Move to DC. You're like, I, I, I'm with the movers and shakers. Oh, one of them just plugged me. Plugged me with a fucking with a stoke Garcia Vega, the <laughs> black and mild, black and mild. <laughs> if Bill Clinton truly was the first black president, <laughs> that would have been a black and mild. What do you got, God Dog? Didn't one of you say you had something? Yeah, well, it looks like NATO bombed Yugoslavia from March 1999 to yeah. June of 1999. Oh no, that was us. So there was a lot of schools and hospitals and things like oh, that crap. that were casualties the hell was our problem with yugoslavia there's a conflict there i don't know much they were about at all crushing the muslims oh they were oh i got gotcha. you they were getting a little rowdy i think gotcha yeah in kosovo yeah when why was bill so bill just bombed the muslims I mean like no he helped we helped the muslims he helped the muslims yeah okay nice and how'd they return the favor <laughs> true freaking 9-11 does yeah man <laughs> just when you think you know somebody dude just when you think you're helping everybody out <laughs> We only did that for good, certainly. Yeah, bomb schools to save the Muslims, dude. They're going, what the hell? Are you? Don't you be mean to, to those guys. Yeah, you're going to have to break a few eggs. How about you guys fight someone your own size? Bomb school. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're tough, huh? <laughs> Watch this shit. We're nuts. Yeah, yeah it's terrible we're... stuff. Anyway, that's war. We've covered it. Covered war. Figured it out. Next. Unnecessary, but we also. Get, we got the economy war. already. Nailed the economy. Done. Inflation. What's inflation at right now? How much you got to stay above? How much you got to make to stay above? Oh, inflation? I had to listen to like Gerben and them talk about talkflation. Inflation. Francis was gone. I was just sitting there like, I'm done. Oh, we were we were just talking about it. Inflation. Were we just talking about money? We were, yeah, we were talking then, about EFTs. Yeah, I was just like, dude, EFTs I don't know a single ETFs. fucking. We're talking blue chips. Talking blue chip stocks. Blue chip stocks. Yeah, none of that pink slip stuff. No, 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 no. None of the shorts are calls, bro. Oh, I was Wolf of Wall We Street. don't do that. We're fucking blue chip, baby. Yeah. Mutual funds. Yeah. Coca-Cola. I... Dude, this hey. episode, hey, you know, this hey. episode now is brought to you by BetterHelp Now. When you feel like crap, it's easy to start believing that you don't deserve amazing things. BetterHelp's online therapy can help you change self-sabotaging behavior so you can move on to, the, to live your best life. Learn positive coping skills, set boundaries, and raise your self-esteem all without leaving the comfort of your home. That's always the best way to do it. Yeah. Improve your entire life <laughs> while maintaining comfort. I mean, I mean, Jesus Christ, man, yeah. Better help. Is to, <laughs> someone's got to rewrite that. You don't that. even have to move a muscle. Everything's going to get better. Here's the thing. You don't have to leave your house because the world's so scary. Just stay here and talk to me. BetterHelp is designed to be flexible and convenient so you can do therapy wherever and whenever it works for you. You can choose between video calls or phone sessions, and their easy-to-use platform lets you message with your, with your therapist anytime. That's nice. Yeah, therapy it is, is a helpful. Fucking, yeah. Again, therapy is helpful. They just got to work on the copy. Therapy is a good thing. We're not making fun of therapy. We're making fun of... Bad yeah, copy. Yeah, the funny idea of... Raising changing. your self-esteem without ever leaving your house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can make myself feel really good. Just fill out a quick questionnaire to get matched. I'm with done masturbating. <laughs> it's time for me to fix my entire psyche. <laughs> <laughs> Just fill out a quick questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and you'll be on your way. You can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash MSSP today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash M-S-S-P, BetterHelp, dot com slash M-S-S-P. Thank you, BetterHelp. Guys, it's time to talk liquid death. We've been beating around the bush all day. Now it's time True. to get down to the business. <laughs> if you're looking to shake up your hydration routine, look no further. I know a lot of guys out there are like, I got to <laughs> shake this shit up. Yeah, dude, you got to mix it up. Liquid death's mountain, oh, fuck Liquid Dust Mountain Water flavored sparkling water and iced tea 
not only taste delicious, but come in a cool tall boy can. Mm -hmm. They're non-alcoholic, so there's nothing stopping you from packing it in your kid's lunch and having a little fun. That's fun. Yeah, Personal no, endorsement, crack open a can. We're in an Airbnb. I didn't bring it. It's, but thank you. They are delicious. And I, I drink them. I, I, I like fucking, when I'm at a social yeah. setting and I see them there. I go, yes. Yeah, liquid death. I have to hold a bottle of water like a wiener. I can hold a cool tall boy. Yeah, because the plastic, Xanax in this thing. plastic's too thin because the fucking True. liberals, dude. Remember when we used to have sturdy bottles? Yeah, I'm sure don't remind me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> liquid death also has the coolest merch. Grab a cap, watch, or koozie. Are you listening, LaMare? This is the type of shit you'd buy. <laughs> All their stuff has artwork <laughs> you used to only get and see on heavy metal posters in your friend's older brother's room. For a blast of hydration and a blast from the past, mm. liquid death has you covered. Guys, listen closely. You can find Liquid Death's healthy beverages on Amazon or at any real t retailer near you. Plus, Matt and Shane's secret podcast listeners get 20% off their first Liquid Death apparel purchase available exclusively at liquiddeath.com slash drenched. Exclusions may apply. <laughs> That's liquiddeath.com slash drenched. Fucking drink it, would you? Shake up the hydration routine. You gotta yeah. shake it up. If you're looking for shorts that look great and can keep up with your summer vacation plans, Bird Dogs has you covered. <laughs> Go from that outdoor kegger to your in-law's house with clad knit or cloud knit fabric that looks like khaki but feels ridiculously stretchy and comfortable. Their anti-stink, sweat-wicking fabric will help you stay cool and dry. Trust me. Even while the world is on fire, brother. I've tested it. Yeah, they're. I love bird dogs. <laughs> yeah. I'll be honest. Yeah, bird dogs rule. Yeah, they're my uh, out of. I do have. I do have a thing for. Uh, High-end performance wear. Me I too. love high-end active wear, dude. I am like a total housewife with it. I love it. But bird dogs, I would rank as being the top amongst it. Yeah. They're tough, too. Some of those, some of the high-end uh, athletic wear is almost like too sexual. Yeah. Some of those pants, I have these joggers. They feel like I'm wearing like satin panties. Yeah. I start getting to touching myself in them. I'm like. Yeah, your shit. dick rubs against it. Yep, exactly. Bird dogs are all business. <laughs> You can even swim in your bird dog. You can also, so matter, yeah. Just no matter what adventures are in the store, you're good to go. Head to bird. What else can you also do? And we were talking about no. Okay. <laughs> Head to birddogs. Soft com. fabric. If you rub it on your penis before you whack off, you do get hard. You definitely do. Head to birddogs.com slash drenched and enter promo code drenched for a free Yeti style tumbler with every order. That's birddogs.com slash drenched promo code drenched and get your free tumbler with every order. Birddogs.com slash drenched. You won't want to take them off. We promise. Yeah, but she will. <laughs> <laughs> or he. That's fine. <laughs> or he. That's cool, too. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, there's a lot of places that won't let you get your nicotine fix. You either got to go stand outside in the cold or white knuckle it. What you can do is Lucy Breakers for a super exciting nicotine experience. Try their pouches. Each one has a jewel-like capsule inside that breaks open and releases in your fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> With flavors like berry citrus, guys come, apple cider, <laughs> and espresso. <laughs> There's something for everybody. <laughs> I, I like, personally, nothing, nothing beats using Lucy's Breakers on a fucking aeroplane. Mm, yeah, an apple cider would be nice. Just breaking that open in my mouth and get totally hydrated. Yeah. You can even choose your preferred nicotine strength to totally customize your experience. Visit lucy.co and use promo code DRENCHED to get 20% off your first order. Shipping is always free. That's lucy.co, promo code DRENCHED, to receive 20% off and always free shipping. Here comes the fucking fine print. Lucy products are only for adults of legal age and every order is age verified. This product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. Yep. Now let's get back to that show. Please. We were having such a good time. Such we a good goofing. time. Such a good time. So, yeah. I told you about the history of Coca-Cola. A little. It might be some of the coolest shit in the fucking world. Yeah. History of Coca-Cola. It started out as like a quack, like health serum. And this guy, the, the guy was making quack health serums. And then he literally just combined like Coca-Cola. Out of Hot Lana, right? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. yeah. I forget the guy's name, but he... Uh, he combined cocaine and cola nut, which is like a thing people were chewing. People were feeling it. And then he started just putting into like jerk soda machines, crushing it. And then these two, like two buttfuck brothers came along. And we're like, yo, <laughs> we'll fucking bottle this shit. And he was yeah. like, nah, dude. And they're like, 
we're going to bottle it. We'll pay you. And then it just became like a around the country sensation. And then everyone started liking it so much that they, uh, well, they almost got shut down because they like the American health association was like, yo, I don't think you guys can put cocaine and stuff for kids. And they were like, shut up. Fine. And eventually they were like, Oh, we took it out. It's, it's out anyway. Don't we worry swear about it. to God it's out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the reason they spread, they became a multinational corporation was because they, I think it was World War II. They promised the soldiers, the Doughboys, like, we'll have a cold Coca-Cola to you guys on the battlefield all the time. Was it the Doughboys? Do you remember Doughboys? I think so. That's one. War. Is that one? Yeah. Oh, my bad. It might have been World War One. Yeah. But they promised them. They're like, we'll get you Coca ice cold Coca-Colas in the battlefield. They, like, promised America. And then they had, they were trying to ship them. Like, that was too much. They started setting up plants everywhere they were fighting. And that's really how they got their, Bro, like, Bro, tossing the fucking Doughboys some cocaine. Bro, ice cold. Like, go get the Han, dude. Ice cold Coca-Colas. Dude, and then Pepsi came out. Pepsi started, se- <laughs> bless you. Pepsi started selling twice <laughs> the amount of soda as Coca Cola. That was their thing. Like, yo, Coke's full of shit. We'll sell you double for the same price. And uh, something happened where RC like- Cola was like, how about triple? <laughs> and everyone was like, no. <laughs> no, RC Cola. Well, Pepsi did this like weird shit where. They so like um, um, Coca Cola actually had like values where these other companies that other countries that we'd be fighting would be like, yo, we want to bring Coca Cola into our country, and Coke would be like, absolutely fucking not. Yeah, Pepsi would keep swooping in, and just selling to our enemies. So Pepsi was selling to the uh, I think the Russians during like the Cold War. What the fuck? Before the wall wall fell, so Pepsi was in there just slanging Pepsi to the enemy. Yeah, and then Coca Cola. So like, and like they, they still they could never beat Coke. So then they're like, fuck yeah, we're selling to Russia. They were selling to like just other places we were fighting. And then when the wall finally fell, dudes came out of that side of Germany where there was Pepsi. It was or, Coca-Cola or, time. They dude. started snagging ice cold Coca-Cola. And Pepsi was just right, like, what dude. the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah. One of the one of the Russian generals, he he's like, he's he tasted Coke. He's like, it's just better than Pepsi. He's one of the yeah. communist guys. He was having it shipped discreetly during like the, when they were talking peace out or talking doing peace talks. He had little kegs of Coca Cola sent yeah. to him. He was just like pulling up and fucking sipping it quietly at he his was desk. Polar bear, dude. It was illegal. He was one it of those was, polar bears. It was, it was illegal. He was getting trapped in barbed wire on the, the Berlin dude, Wall. They had it in like their shitty fountain sodas, and then the country itself. I think they they started selling it to like Muslim countries too. Even as soon as like almost like the Baghdad stuff. I could be wrong, but it was like they were selling it to this one Muslim country, and the Muslim country just fucking like. Saw it start taking off, didn't pay Pepsi, and then made their own type of Pepsi and fucked them. And Pepsi awesome. stays getting fucked over. Coke really? was going, nah, bro, we will not sell to the enemy. Kind of makes you like Coca Cola a little bit. I love Coca Cola. I'm very anti Pepsi. I preferred the taste of Pepsi. Now I know the really? traitorous. Now, now it's, it's just Coca Cola. I've always preferred Coca Cola. Ah, man, I wish. Wild Cherry Pepsi. Uh, now you're talking a little bit oh of my, my language. But <laughs> <laughs> well, it was so funny. You're Pepsi. not wrong there. Wild, chi- Wild Cherry Trump's Coke- Cherry Coke, I would say. But uh, yeah, man, it's. I went on a solid vanilla Coke run <sighs> when I was a young man. Now that shit I tried, it's disgusting. The, uh, the vanilla Coke was reserved for the illest dudes I knew. I was a vanilla the Coke illest man. illest dudes are civic. Know what I fucked with heavy? Pepsi no Kona, dude. Pepsi Kona? Pepsi Kona when it was a coffee flavored Pepsi. What? You never fucking Pepsi Kona? Dude, Pepsi Kona came out for one summer and I was the only one I knew drinking it. What was Surge? Who was who was pumping out Surge? I don't know. Surge? Surge I think. I Wasn't think that Pepsi like Mountain was, Dew kind of? Yeah, it was like a quadruple the caffeine. Was it really? Coca-Cola was Surge? Find out. I'm going to need that information. Pepsi Kona, I'm telling you, might have been the most... It was coffee-flavored Pepsi. It was so fucking good. Coca-Cola with Surge? Yeah. That was a Coca-Cola fucking... Ha- that was the, that was the four locos of sodas. <laughs> I mean, that was like... <laughs> this is too powerful. We Kids came out. What was out. Jolt? Was Surge stronger than Jolt? Because we used to walk to the pizza shop and Jolt up. And it Jolt was the same. It had to be the really? same yeah. poison. There has to be a limit. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm recovering pump. from a medical procedure, dude. Please. <laughs> That's those mashed potatoes. That was fucking pump that, bro. That's, his- <laughs> bump, bump, That's those mashed potatoes, dude. <laughs> that was down on the bayou, that dude. That was Matt. That was burger mashed potatoes. <laughs> Matt, Matt did one of the most diabolical dinners I've ever seen. That was fucking nuts. It was so good. I've never seen anyone do that. Bacon and how, burger with mashed how, potatoes. How have I never seen this? I, I, dude, it's have the, you done this before? I've done it when I was a lad, yeah. I mean, that was... He put his put mashed potatoes on top of his burger. So good, dude. So fucking good. 
I was jealous. Dude. I haven't I done that. I don't think in years too. Yeah. And it was, that was like serendipity. I was like, oh, I don't want any fries. And like, you want some other potatoes? And I'm like talking like a baked potato. Yeah, I'll take that. Like now nah, mashed. And I went, send them right away. I have an idea. Send them. Hurry up before the, before I forget. Dude, mashed potatoes on a burger. Oh my God. I just experienced it. If I just had some barbecue sauce, dude, I would have been in heaven. Yeah. I needed some barbecue sauce. I should, I don't know why I didn't ask for barbecue sauce. A1 or bar- barbecue. It was right there. I don't know why. I didn't ask for barbecue. What the fuck? Barbecue why did I do that sauce. to myself? Once again, you know why? Because I don't have a million views. If I had a million views, I'd have been like, barbecue sauce, please. Then you'd be sharper. No barbecue sauce on my burger is still a million views, dude. Tomorrow. I don't deserve it. No, I think it's going to be a couple more days. I think when this comes out, we'll see. We'll see. It was all right. Next one will be good. This one. Don't. <laughs> this one's great. This one's great, dude. This one's great. I, I, I hadn't I hadn't seen it. I, Your hour changes so much. I hadn't seen I knew I knew the material, but the way you tell jokes changes. Yeah. It, it, yeah. That, I, that's it was good. I wasn't done that one yet. I put it out a little early. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. Connor was Connor was editing mine too, and he was like, It's crazy. Every single show both shows are the exact same. Mm -hmm. I do the same thing every single every mannerism. Really? I get I get a drink at the same time of every show. I do the sips, yeah. I got it. Yeah. The sips are crucial. Sips are nice. It's like, all right, there's a laugh. I'm gonna definitely cue everyone to laugh. Please laugh, 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 laugh. No one laughed. (laughs) (laughs) No one laughed at all. I have to drink quietly. I was fucking this week was the ultimate test of metal. It was Oh. All my st- people come by the way and they expect you to do the same stuff sometimes well, yeah i had a lot of people go like yeah we didn't watch it we figured you'd do it i said brother oh damn brother i'm not gonna do that to you. yeah sometimes they come and they're like do that joke yeah true. i liked that joke true but yeah it was dude i was like this could yeah. that was risky last weekend was a risky one yeah i went we'll see how this how this goes that can be fun that's fun, fun though dude, for everybody my- in the room where you d- did you explain like, hey? I did in the beginning. Yeah. Got, but it still got the blood pumping, dude. It's I, I hear you, but it's the nicest. It's the nicest move yeah. to just be like, look, just put out a special. It's all yeah. I'm doing my best right here, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and they, they'll all be like, yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, it was fun. People were That's very. Fun. It's you forget how nice people are because you just assume in your head in your little lizard brain that everyone's gonna go. <laughs> everyone's gonna hate me. Yeah. Everyone's gonna be mad at me. Yeah, that's a that's a thing. The people a, that paid to see me are gonna be mad at me. Yeah, they dude. don't like me. <laughs> it it does put you front and center with like the weirdest parts of yourself to do stand up and it's like you're like yeah, just being like, Yeah, these guys don't hate me. Yeah. You really think like these guys are pissed. As soon as you walk out there, you're like, Yeah, these I've these guys hate me already. Yeah. I walked out. I can't I don't it's weird. I did it at, You have to uh, like literally take a weird fucking part of yourself and be like Dude, I know you make a good case for this, but just stand yeah, over here yeah. for a while. Let me finish this. By the way, you're definitely right. <laughs> I shouldn't be up here. <laughs> Don't fucking tell anyone. Shut up. <laughs> then you lay in bed at night and go, you were right. I'm sorry. I'm going to listen to you. Hey, do you want to jerk off with me? Okay, <laughs> let's do it. Together, it's us. <laughs> that is not, that's a good way to fight off the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> just be like, when you're in my world. Yeah, true. You're the one who can't escape me. Watch this. <laughs> I can't believe you watched that. You're the gay one. <laughs> You've been watching me jerk off for years. And then as soon as it comes out, the heebie-jeebies is like, what'd you do? Yeah. Like, ah, you're right. <sighs> I shouldn't have been looking at that. You're right, heebie-jeebies. <laughs> oh, I was going to be all tracked one day. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get in the shower. Oh, there's a full body mirror in the hotel. <laughs> oh, the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> the eye of the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> That's you. Look at you. <laughs> These hotel mirrors are fucking me up, dude. None of them. They're all full length. And every <laughs> shower is a fucking glass. There's no curtains anymore. You just open it. The steam is only on the inside of the shower. It's just a clear clear mirror of your fucking gross naked body. You try to run, run away from reflection. You <laughs> yeah, see your yeah, ass. You're yeah, like, ah, yeah. no. <laughs> Thought my ass pimples went away in high school. Oh, man. I saw the ass pimples. <laughs> I hate ass pimples. <laughs> what the fuck is it's this? It's crazy. They just come about. Yeah, summertime. Yeah. That's, that's when they pop up again. Yeah, dude. my mommy told me. I was complaining to my mommy about my ass pimples recently. She goes, your father gets them in the summer all the time. Everybody gets them in She's the summer. She's from working dude. all the time. I said, you're right, mom. Hard all the hard work you've been up to. <laughs> You're right, mom. I my ass pimples are like trophies for my hard work. You're right. True. This is a bit of a trophy case. My mom was like really you have like a pimpleless ass. True. What are you a fucking loser? Yeah, that's crazy, dude. Yeah. If you don't have pimples on your ass, what's up? Yeah. What's good? Meet me outside. Catch me outside. <laughs> Catch dude. me outside. I got some words for you, dude. 
Like, you don't have any pimples on your ass, dude? Must be nice, dude. That would be so nice to have just a nice, pristine ass. I've been, I've been fantasizing about it since high school, dude. Really? Yeah, remember me and my friends would fuck around and be mooning each other. It'd be yeah. my turn to do it. Like, and I'd be Ew. like, just a little, just a tiny bit. Like, what's the matter? And I'm like, fine. And like, Ew, what the fuck, dude? I'm like, dude, I have fucking pimples on my ass. My dad got something. He works hard. It comes down to generations. It's fucking House of Atreus, dude. It is. It's a vicious cycle of ass pimples. Yeah. Yeah, man. I can like audibly pop pimples on my ass. It's, it's literally like. By the way, that yeah. shit rules. True. When no one's around, you get a oh, nice fucking, when you're laying God. in bed at night. Oh. Just, I mean, that's disgusting shit, but... No, it's pretty great. There's no denying I enjoy it. Especially when you have your wife going, stop it, leave him alone. You go, I, I, we're fucking, we're I am <laughs> leaving him alone. <laughs> Shut up! You have, I have it hostage. I'm like, off. don't fucking move. I'll f- oh. Yeah, big old fucking ass. Well, how's your fucking ass? You got a hairy enough ass to cover it up. I'm Gardini, jealous of that, you too. have a fucking Wookiee's yeah, ass. I have, very, <laughs> I have a dog's ass. You do have a dog. I, I actually have a bit of a dog ass myself. Uh, but Total pimples, flat ass. Pimples come and go, you know. But they're yeah. they're covered though. You have that nice protective cover. Yeah, they're no shielded. offense here, Lamizi. What's going on down there? <laughs> uh, I mean, a, I swear to God, you're no leading to it. Black people have an advantage with pimples. No, but sometimes you can. I've heard pimples can hide. Rumor, no, I've heard legends of Lamizi's ass. Oh, for real? <laughs> Who's witnessed? <laughs> <laughs> Who's peeped the werewolf at midnight, dude? I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna point out the culprit. <laughs> What's yeah. going on with your ass on there? I had a uh, pylondial cyst. Which oh, is just like yeah. A, yeah, it's just like a fucking... It's, it's the just, ultimate zit. Yeah, dude. And it popped when me and Dorian were in Rhode Island, and it was the worst smell. Oh. <laughs> it was the worst smell. <laughs> Holy fuck. That was, is was it on so your disgusting, asshole? Dude. It was on your asshole? Yeah, like right next to. Like, it was... Yeah. It Why did like, it smell? Your fucking water broke with Dorian? <laughs> <laughs> your water broke in Rhode Island? <laughs> We have to go to a hospital. It's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Dorian had to rush you. <laughs> it was so bad. I was just laying on the bed and it popped. What type of smell head. are we talking here? Because it was it fart esque or was it like something? It's got to be something crazy it was different. Like, it was like shit and then like dead. <laughs> it smelled like, like metal. Death. Did you have yeah. some shit caught up in your fucking cyst? No, I don't think so. I hope not. <laughs> yeah, maybe poop just missed the hole and no, it was it was like black chunks that came out. Dude, when I had Jesus. that, oh fuck, man, you had leprosy. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you have? I don't know, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, another. I remember you duct taped one shut. No, it was a it was a under it was like a pimple that went. Oh, that like was just fucking, a bad pimple. Yeah, it was a bad pimple. It was duct a pimple that went pimple. rogue. Yeah, yeah. That's I duct cool. taped with paper towel. Dude, when I had I that thought. thing, I swear to God, it was even a hemorrhoid. It was something like beyond a hemorrhoid. Yeah, you were It got something. so big, it was blocking my butthole. And like, it was just, I had to like clean it every time. It was mm. so fucking foul. That's it. That's So you had one of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like That's a butthole like a, blocking yeah. like cyst or venual yeah. thrombrosis, I think it was called. Yeah, and it's like, uh, it's like a, it's a, oh, it's a sinus. Like, it's a sinus that gets fucked up or something. Bro, when those things pop though, good God, is that a relief? <laughs> butt sinuses? <laughs> yeah, there's butt sinuses, dude. There's butt sinuses? <laughs> yeah, your butt can smell. <laughs> your butt can smell. <laughs> Wait a second, dude. <laughs> your butt Hold on, what do you mean there's butt sinuses? There's butt sinuses. Like yeah, your brain's of- in your stomach and you have taste receptors in your heart. It's they're all mixed up, dude. Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> Am I dumb or is that no, the I, dumbest I thing I've ever heard? Talking about. No, dude, there's this butt sinuses. This is your sinus. Yeah, but there's a sign. It's like the... It's the sin- there's a butt sinus? Oh. Uh, the pylon, the pylonidial niddle sinus is a small hole, hole or tunnel in the skin, and it usually develops in the area where the buttocks divide. It's your butt nostrils. I think it might be the 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 little butthole you have above your, your Hold main. Hold on, we take a break. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta touch my ass. We got butt sinuses. I didn't know I that. Yes, I don't know. We have like butt gills. Yeah. <laughs> Is there another? I don't know, remember having a little hole up near my crack. I don't know if I that was my alligator skin. If the sign it, no, that's no, can't be here. it. Stop. Here. I'm not gonna touch my asshole. <laughs> I, I need it. I'm, dude, I want to touch my asshole so bad right now to see. Touching asshole, gonna... fucking rules. <laughs> it's like where your tail would be. Yeah, it's like where your tail. What? That's so you gotta. But you this gotta, can't be. There's just we're just fucking up the, the word same. for sinus. It's S I S L U S. So it's exactly spelled the same. I believe so, yeah. But I, sinus, if you look at the root, it probably has something to do with like something being cleaved in half. 
Nipple. So like sign up, like your sinus up here. Yeah. There's a sinus here. There's a yeah, sinal it's, rhythm it's in your heart. It's not the same, but it, if you look at the etymology called. of sinus, it probably has something to do with being split. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I've been reading about Greek mythology right now, dude. Probably Greek tragedy, dude. There's so many words you just don't even know where they come from, and you go, oh fuck. Yeah. Tra- the word tragedy means goat song. Tragedy, the original tragedy just meant a play. It didn't even mean like a sad yeah. play. It was just a play. Pretty tight. Tantalize. It comes from tantalus. Tantalizer. Tantalus. Try to steal, trick the gods. And he got stuck in a fucking thing of water this big. It was like up to his chin where he couldn't drink. And then there was just fruit trees falling everywhere. He laid there forever. He couldn't eat or drink. So he tried yeah. to eat ambrosia, dude. Imagine trying to steal ambrosia from the Greek gods. I would never. And nectar. He said, I want to have nectar. Just ambrosia. strippers. Yeah, that sucks. But that's where tantalized comes from. From that guy who just got stuck and who was tantalized. Mm. Wanting something you can't have. Pretty cool. Thespus. That's where Thespian comes from. Thespus was the original guy. Yeah. Who started acting. He was the first actor ever. Which is fucking wild. Athletic. Athens. Ath- oh. Athena. Hold up. <laughs> it is. It's a lot of them. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> so many. Thespus was a nice one, though. 50 per you, all a play was before movies before plays it was 50 people being like yes Zeus rules <laughs> yeah. and a one dude stepped out and was like I am he yeah and I am he <laughs> <laughs> was just clearly the first gay guy back they were like the fuck I'm a star <laughs> dude he was the first guy yeah that That's caught great. on That's ancient great. Greek that caught on real quick yeah then one guy like did two, another rules. guy did three. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it turned out to be the secret to everything. <laughs> the Eleusian mysteries. Mm. Where are we out. at? We got we to gotta jump, huh? 59. 59, Woo! damn, dude. We got to speed up to, through the Patreon. Yeah, true. What, so did the, what did that guy say to you earlier? Oh, yeah, true. Big Look, man's back on campus, dude. Big man's back on campus. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in my old stomping grounds in Westchester. <laughs> That was devastating. I was so was like, yo, I, dude, what's up, man? Big man's back on campus. Uh, <laughs> I was just like, Don't say that in front of my friends, dude. I thought that was, a, I thought he was being funny. There's n- no chance. I mean, that's the funniest shit anyone could if ever say. If he was say. being funny, it was, but he was not. It was, I could, I could read his nervous energy. He was with his babe. Yeah. He was just like, I, th- I believe it was, it was serious. Man, big man's back on campus was the funniest shit I've heard all night. <laughs> yeah. He's like, what's up, man? He was like, Big man's back on campus, just from like five <laughs> feet away. Like, beast, beast. Yeah, that was nice. Absolute fucking beast. You know I mean, who you are, dude. I mean, it's true, dude. I mean, it is. The BMOC. <laughs> the BMOC has returned. The return of the BMOC. You got to the last night you're here, just go fucking nuts, dude. I mean, yeah, no yeah, problem. True, <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you say so, I guess I will. I will go wild. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I've been to a couple bars. At night, it gets it gets very awkward. Yeah, yeah. It was like me, Gerben, O'Connor, Nunn. Yeah. We're just up at a, drinking at a college bar. Before eight or nine, it's fine. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, it's just college kids, and you're like, we are fucking weird. Yeah, the bro, they do yeah. filter in right around nine yeah. o'clock, and you go... And then if you're with a girl, you go, oh, my God, what does she wear? And you go, Pfft. yeah, I would never. Yeah, what the hell is that she's wearing? <laughs> we should get out of here right now. You got to get out of here. I have to go pay a visit to the heebie-jeebies, man. <laughs> He's about to see some wild shit. Because <laughs> turns out college chicks are hot. Yeah. You know? And I think that's an age-old consensus. Yeah. I think if you, yeah. Age-old, is prob- age-old consensus is probably like, uh, oh, yeah. kind of out the pasture by then. <laughs> yeah. yeah, true. I mean, no, they're, dude. I mean, you ask your joking, dads, obviously. grandpas, they're like college babes. College babes. And it's like, yeah, I mean, everyone loves college babes. Everyone loves college babes. And guess what? There's nothing wrong with loving them. There's nothing wrong with liking them. It's legal. It's totally, dude. You like to vote. You don't have to have sex with them or anything. You, they, yeah. They, it is funny. All those people are like, you got to vote. You got to do this. It's like, and you, should, you should also exercise your right and have sex with college babes. That's within your legal right. You know? Don't yeah. I mean don't violate any Get sacred vows. Vote. Get a gun. Vote. Bang college chicks. Have sex with women at the legal age. <laughs> yes. I mean these these government guys. I don't look. Not for me. I'm like I don't yeah. Know. I would never. Thirty and above, obviously. Yeah, thirty for me. Thirty rule. All right. <laughs> <laughs>